Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how I am giving the backsplash in my coffee area a different look using three by five beveled edge rectangular mirror tiles that I purchased from Collecting Warehouse about maybe four years ago. And then some crystal gemstones that I purchased from Hobby Lobby that I've also had for a while. Coming up, you will see some inspirational pictures that I took off of Pinterest. And what I liked about this picture are the gemstones. And then the next one coming up um, is blue gemstones, but it wasn't the gemstones that attracted my eye. Although it is pretty, it's not my style. It was the mirrored grout. I'm not going to be doing mirrored grout. I am going to be using three by five beveled edge mirrored tiles. And I like this one because of the marble look. I love the diamond shape, but I don't have that. But I love the combination of the marble and the uh, gemstones. Here I started putting them up using scotch tape just to kind to get a visual of where I want to place them and then also putting the gemstones. The marble countertop that is peel and stick, I'll be covering that with the white peel and stick contact paper. I've already done it with the backsplash and I did that um, I would say a month before I even did the mirror tile. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this process then just keep watching and I want to thank you all for stopping by. I got these like two years ago. I ordered them from Collecting Warehouse online. And I've learned there's a cheaper way that you can get them just buy the whole sheet and just pull them off of the backing instead of buying them individually in the box. And these are old because I've used them on something. So I pulled it off of something that I wasn't using anymore. I apologize for the mowing noise in the background. So I'm doing a voiceover to kind of cut some of that out because it was going on for a while. So what you see me doing here, I'm right now just putting scotch tape on the back and just placing these up sporadically to see where I like them. And then what I do is I end up taking them down, which you will see um, further up is me putting glue stick glue on the back and putting them up. Now that the glue stick doesn't make it permanent, but it does hold up there. They don't fall. They stay up there until I decide to pull them down. Again, this is something that I wanted to see what it would look like and if I do like it I may put some more mirror tiles up there now here you see I'm putting this up using my glue gun and as I stated this is not a permanent thing but I just like the look of what I saw in inspiration and just FYI this was done back in April when I started putting these up So I thought I'd share. I started putting some of these gems sporadically between the mirrors and I like the look. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I finished putting up my mirrors. I, I want two more. I'm going to see if I can find two around my house here. One to go here and one to go down there, you know, to kind of drop so I can finish off this bottom row. Just one here and one here. So I'm going to look and see if I can find and if not, because my stuff, my coffee things I put up there, it you won't see that. But I'm loving how this is turning out. So I'm gonna finish putting in the gems sporadically and then I'm going to cover this. I don't wanna take this off because it's too much work. Um, if I was doing this for someone else, I would take it off and put the white on. But I'm just gonna go over top of this with the white. I'm going to paint this white, definitely painting the top white, but because this is my coffee station, I just want it to stand out. So now I'm getting ready to cover the top of this white. Like I said, I don't feel like taking this off. Um, if I was doing this for someone else, I would definitely take it off. I would not leave it on, but um, this is my house on the countertop. And under it is solid granite. The most that I would have to do if I took this off was to just scrub it and uh, remove whatever stickiness this would leave behind. But I'm just going to go over it with white and I'm going to start from the back. So let me tell you all, I had a hard time 
with this side of the counter putting this down it kept crinkling and I don't know I believe it was this tool that I'm using because when I got to the other side I didn't use the tool and it went down smoothly so I'll be explaining that to you in just a few seconds okay so I'm just about done with this and this side was an epic I call it a fail because I got what you call a lightning bolt wrinkle crinkle and this side is going down a lot easier because and I believe this is like this because I used this tool and I think I said this one time in one of my videos sometime back I mean way back that this thing and it scratches and I guess it depends on the type of material that the contact is made of you know you have the high gloss and then you have the flat of course the cheap is going to pinch because it's very thin paper this is not cheap but because of the high gloss I believe that's why that is like that this side all I'm doing is pulling and I'm just rubbing with my sweater on my hand and I noticed some videos that I watched I watched a, a man who professionally puts down wallpaper he uses a sponge he doesn't use a scraper or anything so this side is coming out a whole lot better than this side now this is not the kind of paper that that's repositional and removable this is the kind that when it's stuck it's stuck now it's not going to damage my countertop because number one i'm putting it on top of the marble and then my original countertop is actually granite so it's very tough and sturdy i'm not even using this on this side i'm just pulling it down and rubbing it um with i'm doing like this here as i pull it and it's just smoothing out because I don't have a sponge. That's why I'm using my sweater. And I'm smoothing it out. Um, let me see if I can um, put my phone down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is all I'm doing. I'll pull up a little piece and I'll just take my hand and just rub it, but I'm using my sweater to smooth it out. And there are no air bubbles and I'm pressing with my thumb. Now once I get it all pulled off, I am going to be using the blow dryer to apply heat to the end of the contact paper to allow it to conform and curl up under the edge of the countertop. All right, I'm gonna get the blow dryer. Here, I'm just using a pin just to pop out all the air bubbles. Alrighty. Okay, there it is. Not something that I'm satisfied with because of that. If that hadn't been like that, I would have been okay because this side is okay. This side is not because of that. Okay, here it is all complete. And looking at it, I might add a few more mirrors in there later on, but I like the way it turned out. Um, just let me know if this is something that you think you would do. Like I said, these mirrors are not up here permanently. They will not fall. I will be able to pull them down as well as the um, diamond stud crystals if I want. But I like this look. And again, I might add some more mirrors on here later, but for now, this is a look that I love. I will again be painting the top of the cabinets and the bottom of the cabinets white because this is my coffee area and I just want it to look different. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love to read your comments. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And again, if this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you for stopping by and consider subscribing and look at more of my videos to see if these are the type of videos that you like. 
And again, I want to thank you all for stopping by JRC Restoration, Decor and Design. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.